I'm not just gonna sit out there and say, what go you play don't in the dirt. Is, is the beauty of just going outside without having it. Just go outside. We gotta listen, bring I, that listen, I'm not listen, I'm not saying it can't go outside. I have a freaking driveway it's with people a like you that's here. giving up the problem. You play no kid, bro. Yeah. I'm talking I about got nobody to play with. You talking about go out in the <laughs> neighborhood or a bike and let him ride his damn talking bike. About go out in the neighborhood, no means of being able to communicate. I'm not I'm not with that because I know that people traffic kids. All these other stuff. Man. I don't know about one I can. Let me tell you something. Hold on, real, real quick. Bruce, I'm not taking risks. I don't have. I don't have the mentality to this. take a risk like that. Like, Bruce, Bruce, let me just say this. Yeah, no. That's My being afraid. Go you're teaching your children how to be afraid. If you're afraid for your uh, kids, no, your child not. is gonna grow up to be afraid. So let me tell you this. My kids uh, had. I gave my kids like ten speed bikes, not a little bikes, right? And the reason why I got them 10 speed bikes, even before they, I taught them how to ride when it was little, a 10 speed bike, you know, the bar be down instead of straight across, straight across so they can get on it. I taught my kids how to ride 10 speed bikes. And I told them, I said, if you're riding your bike and a van pull up or some man pull up and say, I'm gonna give you some candy. The first thing you do is if he tries to grab you or something like that, you don't run because the person is going to be able to catch you. You grab hold of your bike and you scream. And don't let your bike go. Man, because good, yeah. since you have this big ass bike, they aren't going to be able to take you and the bike and put well, it in the car. First of all, how old how old are these kids? Because if we're talking 14, 15, 16, yeah, I'm fine with that. No, I'm, I'm not gonna let my six, seven, eight, nine, eight, ten. Six, huh? seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm not letting my outside. I'm not letting my, yeah. let my no. six year old son. Go out in the neighborhood and ride up in the neighborhood, in. Bruiser. What are you talking? What are you scared of? You don't live in the neighborhood. You don't do that, Mr. Let Go. Let's get, let's get Lady Di in there before we get out of here. Let's What's get Lady Di in there. Man? I look kids, down. Bro. I look down and I look up and somebody getting their bike stolen. Let go. I don't know where you. Uh, let's get lady. Hey, 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 trigger mic. They steal your bike. They ain't stealing oh. your kid. Don't nobody want our kids. <laughs> ain't nobody ride through our neighborhood trying to snatch up kids. That's not true. Hey, it's, a lot of black, it's a lot of black little girls missing right now. And it's, little boys. It's actually an so epidemic, dude. Yeah. Give your daughter a, a, in Atlanta a, is probably the worst knife. in the area yeah, I'm in. It's yeah, probably the worst. Yeah, everything is the worst in Atlanta. Just FYI. No. My kids are beat your ass because they grew up learning how to beat somebody's ass. Where your hand look, look like Where they beat on you. <laughs> Man, please. My Where kids will beat you? your ass. Real so, shit. So my, so my dad will beat your daddy. Is this, is this what we've been reduced to? Die. Please give us a dose of femininity here. Okay, so I grew up in a not so uh, pleasant environment. I'm from the Bronx. I don't know if I ever gave that insight, but I'm from the Bronx. So I grew up, I was able to go outside back in the day um, because my parents taught me how to protect myself. Now, right. if, if right. somebody, because <laughs> you can't, to me, like, I should have been sheltered then. Where I, where I grew up, I should have been sheltered because you walk outside, I mean, it's fair game, right? But I, they, they didn't do that. Because they just taught me what to do. Be very observant. I can't go outside, you know, in la la land, not knowing where I'm going, where I'm coming, left, right. I had to actually watch myself, watch my surroundings. Now they didn't throw me out there at a, you know, at a young age. They waited until I was mature enough. All right, but that was in that environment. I grew up in the South as well, and it was the same thing. There was this, it, like, people could snatch you anywhere. It don't matter where you at. That's what I'm trying to say. Now, when I started my family, me and my husband were raised in like a, you know, not so good neighborhood. So what we did was um, before we bought our house at the time, we looked at the criminal background. You go on, you know, Zillow or whatever site that you buy your house from. You can even ask your realtor, um, hey, right. you know, right. Crime rate, all of that. It's all on the Internet. See, we didn't have all of that back in the day. But everything is so resourceful. It's on the internet. You could look in your neighborhood, the neighborhood next to you, the neighborhood next to that, and see where pedophiles, all these different type of people you don't want around your kids to see where they live. They live places. You can see where they're at. Are they around your places? So what we did was we, we picked places that didn't have none of that, right? Now, okay, cool. That's step one. Step two Look at the house that you're buying. If you're not buying a new house and you're buying a used house, look at the, the, the your neighbors. Your neighbor's been there before you bought the house. So if you don't see kids or it, it's not going to fit what you want to do, then you shouldn't buy that house. You got to buy a house. If you're starting a family, 
You got to buy a house where there are kids around. You see kids playing. That's part of the vetting stage when you're buying a property. If you choose not to do that, then that's okay. It's not nothing wrong. But then it's kind of like, well, I'm not having my kid go out. Okay, but then they're not going to get the same dynamic we did growing up. A lot of us were outside playing. They're not going to get that. They're going to be stuck on the internet and becoming couch potatoes before they're an adult to decide to be a couch potato. None of us want to marry couch potatoes. None of us should be couch potatoes because we're not going to be productive. So I do understand the fear because I'm the same way. Even in the safe neighborhood that I live in right now, I still kind of like, well, today is not all the same like it was. Exactly. There are more people. Yeah, there are more people. There's scammers out here. So it is, I think it is more dangerous because um, there's more websites that you can, you know, uh, pick on children to, to manipulate. But at the same time, um, I'm echoing. Let go. That has, he just purposely interrupt like that. At the same time, we still just have to, I guess, vet before we move into a space. And if you don't allow your child to go outside, you should have friends for these kids. They still need to be able to interact and communicate because that's all the goal is. We go outside, communicate, but you go outside, you get street smarts. So it just depends on your, you know, your, your, your way. But I do think you still should let your kids communicate whether the kids, whether it's outside or inside. Please let your kids go outside. This is the problem with all these punk ass males out here because they didn't go outside when they was kids because they damn mama was so afraid something was oh, going to no. happen to them. Take oh, your ass no. outside and learn no, some shit. Some kids was in the streets. Hey, you got now, it. You need to wrong, stop. Bro. That's reckless. Then they go climb uh, a tree or some them shit. Kids, them kids was in the streets. They probably was doing drugs. They probably was selling drugs, bro. You tripping. Y'all act like they're not amber alerts. Y'all act like there are not predators. Stop it. Stop misleading people. There needs to be a balance. But if you got to say, let them go outside, give them a little bit more education between the ages of this and this. You may want to watch them at this age. Yeah. Like, come on, don't I just agree. be reckless. I ain't say be reckless. I'm just saying, let teach your kids what you need to teach them and let their asses go outside. Do not I'm just saying we need to put context on them. how old are you allowing them to go outside seven, in eight, nine, and ten, yeah, the area, early ages. I, I don't know. Yeah. Listen, I don't know it's about everybody else right. on the panel, but I don't agree with being a six yeah. year old. If it wasn't so late, I'd call my kids right now and say, oh, your how, your kid can't fight a grown man. Outside. Your kid can't fight. Your kid uh, cannot. Seven. I don't care how savvy they are, you know. Your kid, Mr. Lego, is your child. They cannot go up against a grown adult. That's all I'm saying. So be responsible with your message. That's all I'm saying. The, the, the issue, right. My message is let your kids go outside and don't keep them confined in the house because they're going to grow up antisocial and be in the manosphere uh, hating women and shit when they grow up. Nobody's keeping not going outside. Yes, that's how you start being antisocial by not going outside. You have to teach them awareness. If I could grow yes. up in the Bronx, okay, and, and be outside at a young age, I think anybody should be able to go outside. It's very right. at seven years old. Y'all don't understand what y'all don't understand. Well, not seven years old. At seven years old, understand is that today being outside, today. Let's being outside, outside today is not like being outside then. You didn't that it's wasn't better, bro. So you live in a nice ass neighborhood. We grew up in a damn hood. Stop it. Hold on. Yeah, you know, you missed my point. <laughs> what I'm saying is being outside back then was useful for your growth and development for when you was coming up back in the 80s and 90s. Now it's not necessary. We live in a technology, we live in a de uh that's a, the anti-social side. New Children world. need to go get some sunlight and be out in the world and not in in, in a damn house for the no. no.